Dietitian. I'm Chef AJ and I'm Juliana Hever, the plant-based dietitian. Together, we're, we're the, the chef, chef and the dietitian, dietitian and we, we make healthy tastes delicious. delicious. We really do make healthy tastes delicious. We do. I, I, so I, mean, do. I, wish that, I wish there was taste division or smell division because our food is really good. <laughs> well, but they good. can try it at home. We're showing them how easy it is and you could try them and you'll see how delicious they are. Bean dip. Okay. Can I just say I've turned into a beanaholic. I think I, I have. I need like Overeaters Anonymous for beans. Well, maybe they have a bean anonymous. But with, there's something really super cool about what we're making today is that beans are really high in fiber, really high in resistant mm -hmm. starch, which is good also. And it's high in like protein, not that we worry about yeah, getting Yeah, tons protein, of protein. Right. I mean, if you want a protein party, eat beans. You don't ever have to worry about protein. Right. But what's really cool about what we're making today is we're adding citrus to the beans. So the beans have all the tons of iron in there. Mm -hmm. The citrus has tons of vitamin C in there. That's going to enhance the absorption of iron. So you never have to worry about iron deficiency. Right. And I learned yeah. that from you. Oh, I mean, but you could put like right. your tomatoes with your salad. Absolutely, or you could put, yeah. You could put in your green smoothies. I mean, that's sure. a great way because greens have a lot of iron as well. So vitamin C helps the absorption of iron. Iron. That's awesome. Yeah. And by the way, just for the record, not because we're plant-based, everyone, omnivore and plant-based alike, have the same incidence of iron deficiency right. anemia. So we're not at a higher risk, but it's good to know that when you eat those together, in case you do have a lower... Because a lot of people do naturally end right. up with a tendency to I know when people ask iron. me where I get my iron, I just said I bought one at, you know, at uh, Target. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, it made you laugh. So, <laughs> yeah, you are. Thank you. Um, I call this holy moly bean dip. Because, holy moly? Well, for the mole, like you know a mole, like in Holy in, mole. In, mole. Is it mole or mole? I mole. Well, mole doesn't mole. matter with holy. But <laughs> they do in, 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 in Spanish or Mexican cuisine often use some chocolate, some dark chocolate without sugar to create a mole sauce. And you know me, I always feel a little garlic and a little chocolate is good and a recipe more is better so why not so okay but do you know how i invented this recipe you're too young to remember but they used to have in the 70s frito they used to have a bean dip in a can i don't know if they still make it i and think so it was delicious and it was thick but it, it had lard in it and you know Ugh. i know it's gross so i try i always try that to still eat. happens in restaurants i went to a restaurant in vegas right. oh my gosh they're still using lard it. in their bean dip can Ugh. you believe but lard does serve one purpose it does it makes it thick and it gives it that mouthfeel. But we're going to do the same thing by using hemp seeds, which I know you're ah, a fan of. I'm a right. big fan of hemp seeds. Right. Lots of omega-3 fatty acids, right. delicious creamy texture and flavor. And even your papa, who's allergic to nuts, could have this yes. because hemp seeds, hemp seeds are not free. Not free. <laughs> They're a seed. <laughs> really, the seeds are not free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. you never know. <laughs> so let me show you how to make it. In my blender, I have a cup of salt-free salsa, oil-free salsa. You can get it in many stores now. This one happens to be fire roasted. You can make it yourself, but you can easily find this now. Next, I'm going to add a can of refried beans. I happen to be using black beans today, but you could do this with pinto beans as well, or mix and match. And you know, just be careful when you get refried beans. You just make sure there's no oil in there, because some of them add oil. It's kind of harder to find right. oil-free ones. Right. But, but they, they taste so good, you'll never miss the oil. I haven't found a sodium-free one yet, but I found low sodium. Eden, right. Eden Red has low sodium, Great. and it's the Perfect. lowest sodium and no oil. I love Eden That's beans. awesome. Beans, yeah. So anyway, I agree with Juliana. And you get them for really cheap online. Right. On Vitacost.com. Always get yeah. the oil-free brand. And you know, people can make these themselves, and I, if they really want to, I can give them a recipe, but you know, there are certain things that just, it's so oh, yeah, easy. yeah. I have a can of black beans. Now again, if you can't find salt free, rinse them. Now, I always like to save the water from the beans, because if I need a little bit of water to blend, why not blend it with, you know, the flavor? If of it's a salt free, but if, if it's, it's a salt free, free, you don't want to add all that salt though. Absolutely. Third of a cup of lime juice or lemon juice would be fine. Here we go. Yeah, wait, wait. A tablespoon of cacao. I have raw, raw cacao powder. Mm. Yum. Two cloves of garlic. Now, you can buy garlic peeled. It's just going to be more expensive. But let me show you how easy it is to separate these, the clove from the skin. I don't know what this is called, but you get them in, like, Bed Bath & Beyond type Is stores. that, like, for a can opener? Right. But what, Yeah, watch this. I just go like this, and I, I rub it a few times. <gasps> oh, my goodness. And literally, the skin just falls off. See, because I'm always digging in my oh, nails, smelling like garlic for hours. I, bet, I hate days. that, but isn't this cool? That is really nifty. So yeah. just do that. If, if you've learned nothing from the show, this is hopefully... <laughs> Something that will help you forever. Oh, I please. happen to like. There's so much to learn. Of <laughs> I happen to like this chipotle paste. If they can't find it, it smells so good. They Ooh, can use, uh, they can use I, chipotle I, I, powder <laughs> anywhere between a quarter of a teaspoon to a teaspoon. It really depends how spicy you like it. I prefer chipotle to jalapeno because a chipotle is a smoked jalapeno, and it's more of a smoky flavor than necessarily a heat flavor. Wait, say so. jalapeno again. Jalapeno? <laughs> you oh. say it so funny. I'm sorry. Jalapeno. Excuse me. Jalapeno. And you, we should have subtitles. So that, no, really, like we should. It's a Chicago accent. Right? Now, so I am going to blend this in my blender. And that really didn't take much.
much longer than opening up a can of bee dip. Now, for some reason, if somebody was completely wanting to be nut, nut free or seed free, they could eat it like this. I have it's delicious. Right, I guess if people are fat free, they could do it. Yeah, sure, they it. absolutely could. But this, that was very that would be low fat. That'd be fat free. That would be fat free. Right. But this half a cup of hemp seeds really makes it creamy the mm. way that I remember it when I used to eat Sons, lard. Sons, yeah. pig fats, yeah. That's, I saw the great, greatest t-shirt worth for us. Bacon had a mom. Isn't that cute? Aww. I know. Okay. Now this, when you chill this, this will thicken up the way that I like it, but in the meantime I like to just put it in the bowl. It's a little bit more loose than I like it now, but we have to taste it. And what I like to do, you could sprinkle hemp seeds on top, but I love scallions, so I think it makes it look real pretty. So I'm going to sprinkle pretty. those on top, and these are the store-bought ones, the ones that have no oil, no salt. Try to grab a little scallion when you taste it, because it really, it's really good. Mm. Wow, holy moly. Holy moly. You that know, is amazing. Yeah, you can't taste the chocolate, but it provides like a background flavor. Oh, just, so just that good. little bit, little. Sometimes a little bit of something can make a difference. It's not too spicy. I don't know. It's a little bit of all the little bit of a little yeah. different things that makes it so delicious. It's yum. I love it. Thank you. I love it. You could serve it for. I mean, we're far away from the Super Bowl, but who knows? You know, <laughs> maybe there'll be another event yeah, or any any um, dinner or anything you could have and to serve as appetizer. Yeah, and it could be it could be a filling for a burrito. Mm. Yum. Oh. So, so eat your beans, eat your, eat beans. your greens. Yay! Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> another episode of The Chef and the Dietitian. And remember, if you, you want healthy in your kitchen, ask the chef and the dietitian. Ciao Thanks. for now.